Welcome back to The Late Show on this crisp Thursday night. Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest is an actress you know from Transparent and Bad Moms. She now stars in the sequel, A Bad Mom's Christmas. I don't want to make a big deal of this, but um, I'm kind of on a first date with one of the Santas. Shut up. Yes. What, which one? Santa number two. How'd you guys meet? Oh, waxing his That is so romantic. You learn a lot about a man when he waxes his yeah. Some guys cry. Some guys act real tough. But the tie is so calm. It's almost like waxing the with the Dalai Lama. Please welcome Katherine Hahn. That's a beautiful Christmas message. Thank you. Yeah, waxing the yes. of the Dalai Lama. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Just really, a little Christmas joy. Really, yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Yeah. What is it called? What is it? It's. I think it's called circadian rhythm. It's not circadian rhythm. Circadian but rhythm, and we're like the night the and day. day. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I have like holiday circadian rhythm. What do you? What do you mean? Like I've been celebrating Christmas since like May, basically. With was that movie. when you shot the we movie? We shot this movie in Atlanta. In May, for yeah, Atlanta's awesome. Yeah. For a Chicago Christmas, it's hot in it's Atlanta. It's very in May. hot, and there's a lot of fake hair going on in this part. So it was just like, and I imagine like warm sweat. clothing. Yes, yeah. So, so it was a, it was a sweaty. It was kind of amazing. But my poor husband, who is um, who's Jewish and just feels like Christmas is getting earlier and earlier every year, is like, are you kidding me? It's a little bit bananas. Are you are, that we just passed? Halloween, yeah. and officially, as I was saying to Whoopi just a moment ago, it's sort of traditional in America that now you can just start doing, you can just go straight to Christmas yeah. after Halloween. You just, I, all I smell is Douglas fir, like the like the second. <laughs> are you a big, are you a big decorator? Like, do you guys do Dude. your yard for Halloween and I stuff mean, like we that? I mean, we just moved to a new pad, and the, this is our first Halloween there, and everyone, when we moved in, was like, oh, my God, get ready. It's bananas. There's, like, thousands of kids. Like, it's the walking dead, like, so many children. It wrote, like, piles after piles of kids. And so we spent all the, you know, we got it decorated. We spent all this money with all those styrofoam heads, you know, the tombstones oh, yeah, or whatever. Oh, you your, turn your front yard into a graveyard. Yes, yes. Yeah, sure. So I am getting ready. The night before Halloween is the Bad Moms premiere, actually. I'm, like, all dressed. My daughter was in the front yard. She starts screaming hysterically, runs in, goes right to me. To, I, so I'm, I'm covered with, like, crusty little baby snot, like, all over this velvet dress. I'm, like, what's the matter? Apparently our dog was chasing a baby squirrel up this tree and it fell basically right into our dog's mouth in front of her. And she was crying so hard. I'm like, oh, I think it died like on the way down. So I don't think it was our dog. But as she was crying, I was like, well, maybe we can have like a little funeral for it. And as she was crying, she was like, and we can use one of our tombstones. <laughs> So we just used one of the styrofoam tunes that says, R.I.P. Palm Tree, because she named the baby squirrel Palm Tree. If, if I'm not mistaken, you just tried to convince me yeah. and yourself that the squirrel died in mid-flight <laughs> on the way to the dog's mouth. I'm a 53-year-old man. I can take it. I have Your dog to. murdered that I know. squirrel. No, no, no. Is she it's watching right exploded. now? Is she wa Wake her she up. Is your husband at home? Wake up your child. It's time she learned. There was no puncture wounds. No, no, doesn't have to be. It just, it's hard exploded it on the way it down. Whole. It swallowed it whole. Now, poor palm okay, tree. Okay, so, so I, we talked about this last time here. You were raised Catholic. Yeah, and, and your husband you were too. Jewish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, yeah. still hanging yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, good. Skin good on my for teeth. you. Skin on my totally teeth, my friend. Of, exactly. Okay, so uh, uh, but, you know, your husband's Jewish. The kid's uh, Jewish Catholic. We're a little bit in between. Like, we're trying to figure out, like, what would be the most, like, you know, in inclusive. We're trying, you know, it's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So, <laughs> they're, they're, my, my son takes, like, a, he goes to Hebrew class. Um, we do, which always ends up with, like, some sort of nerf war, which we're like, what's happening in this class? They're mm -hmm. always, 
My, I remember he went um, with me to a film set once in a church. I'm like, you know, if you're not used to that image, it's intense. Of like Jesus on the cross, like it's an intense image if you're not like brought up I mean, with the it. The crucifixion. The crucifixion, yeah, it's yeah, an yeah. intense. It's, it's meant to be an intense image. Yes, it, right. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't hanging out. <laughs> it wasn't, right. it wasn't, Shame. it's, so Driving he, home a point. He, yeah, right, right, right. Visuals. Yeah. So he was, he was, I didn't, he was looking at it. I was talking to someone and he was like, mommy, 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 mommy. I was like, what's the matter? And he was like, why is that Native American nailed to that cross? Native American? Well, I know. That's progressive LA education for you. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, that he called him a Native yes, American yes. and not an Indian. Yeah, that yes. was very nice. Yes, that I was thought very it was nice. nice. And I said, we have a lot of explaining to do. Because he's like, I, it's a firmly, you know, it's a lot of, it's a, it's a confusing time, guys. Yeah. And what did you answer? We wanted their land. We, I, I, <laughs> I was like, be good or Santa won't. Oh, my God, I don't know. It's a mess. Mm -hmm. Secular, non-secular. What do we do? Uh, <laughs> go see Bad Mom's Christmas. Yes! Yes! Yes. Now, this is a sequel. Thank you. It's a sequel to Bad Moms. How long ago was Bad Moms? It was, like we were joking, I was taking off my eye makeup when the trailer for this one came out. Like it was like nine months ago or something. It was like nine months ago. Honest to God, you made it for a dollar twenty-five and it made $400 million <laughs> or something. So they said, quick, quick, exactly. another one, exactly. another one. Uh, uh, how bad did the moms get? Obviously, we waxing, we've I seen mean, that. We're yes, we're definitely not, we're not negligent mothers for, for sure, but we do, you know, I think we get to see our moms in this one. So Susan oh, really? Sarandon oh. plays my mom, which oh, is so awesome. Lovely. And uh, I know she's incredible. And Cheryl Hines, the Christine Baranski, it's an amazing group of women. And um, it's like, it's, it's the nuttiest time of the year for a mom. Mm -hmm. You're just so busy trying to make magic happen for everybody else that it's like, it's just, it's a sweet, it's a sweet lesson of just like letting go of expectations and try to be, trying to just like be in the moment with your family and not worry about like the perfection, you know? Yeah, and that's the real message of the season, which is go on a first date with a man who's <laughs> just waxed. Isn't that <laughs> lovely to oh see you again? Oh my goodness, my pleasure. A Bad Mom's Christmas is in theaters now. Catherine Hahn, everybody, in the Squirrel Spot. We'll be right back with the performance by Courtney